Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a dual reaction. Yes, we're going to be taking a look at Amberlynn's latest live stream where she reveals what exactly happened in regards to yesterday's girl talk and her posts on Instagram. We're going to get into that. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at Foodie Beauty, who has announced that she is getting back with Dom. All that and more coming up in today's video. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? This is how I used to do my hair in like high school I thought it would be funny to do as kind of a joke but now I'm like I don't even know if I want to go out in public like this I might have to wash it again I do need a haircut though we're going for like emo vibes okay so we're gonna take a look at Amberlynn's latest live stream called hey she's gonna tell us what exactly went on why she went to the hospital and all of that honestly I was tuning in live a little bit here and there and it's nice to see Amber have you know her members only chat I feel like that's important for her because when she does go live it's like a mess in there you know and if she can just have her like members only and do that I feel like she would be way more comfortable doing that and she has talked about being anxious for live streams and things like that and I think it's good for her let's listen in um so I was having a lot of pain and it was the type of pain where you like you can't sit still and you're crying and it was like down it was a little bit lower than my flanks and immediately i was like okay that's my kidney um okay. and i've had kidney pain before you know our girl knows her body oh and i just accept it for what it is and like drink a little extra water you know stuff like that but this was the type of pain where it hurt like it was it was so bad i couldn't sit still and i was crying i was shaking um yeah, I can understand it. I mean, spoiler alert, Amberlynn had kidney stones and I can definitely relate to her on this because that's happened to me before. So I'm going to tell you guys, you know, my experience as well, but let's listen to so, hers too. I, I stayed in pain for about an hour before I went to the ER because I didn't want to. That's what I did as well. Use up, you know, the this was like five or so years ago. Hospital's time um, or anything like that. So... When you do have kidney stones, it's definitely important to go to the hospital, especially if like nothing else is open. I know a lot of people give Amber flag for using the hospital like it's her family doctor. But in this case, she definitely should have gone. Um, if you're in that much pain, I know what that pain feels like. And it's excruciating. I ended up going and immediately the doctor's like, I can tell that you're very uncomfortable and you're in a lot of pain right now. And immediately... Mm -hmm. uh, they probably give you an IV, right? Blood. They made me pee in a cup and I actually got a CAT scan. It was the first CAT scan. What happened to me was I like couldn't even pee. I've ever gotten. I didn't think I was going to fit and I did. So that was pretty awesome. Um... So, so she did they fit also in the scanner to an IV. They gave me tons of different medicines and fluids. And um, I ended up puking while I was there. Um, I Yikes. honestly think it was because the morphine that honestly like the the pain that you feel is like say you like puked a lot and you puked like so much this is nasty that your like stomach hurts like your ribs hurt like that's how the pain feels but it's just like that feeling forever what they put in the little iv thing like hit me until you pass me. out like that or it was like i said it was my kidneys but either way yeah they give you that um, and you feel like fine right after long story short i have kidney stones and they saw that through the cat scan and they saw that um my biggest one is four millimeters and yeah, they're so tiny, but somehow they cause so much pain. And they said that's the one that was causing me a lot of pain. You know, like sometimes they'll give you like a strainer. I haven't had one in several years. I think I um, have up my fluid intake. It was probably because of like drinking iced tea and things like that. Who knows what I was putting in my body at that point. So that has a lot to do with it. I think that diet soda has a lot to do with it as well. Sometimes just get your water in, but yeah, they'll give you like a strainer so you can like catch it. I guess it would be like a lot easier for a male to catch their stone versus a female. And that they're, they were glad that I went to the hospital. So they sent me home with a ton of medicine and um, you know, it is what it is. I, I was in so so much pain that I just, uh, it was, it was bad. It was bad. And 
Yeah. Almost immediately after they gave me the morphine and the IV, I felt this Probably relief. felt fine, yeah. It was like... And then, like, when you pass it, it just, like, completely goes away. It's so weird. One Miracles of the best of the body. feelings ever. The pain just, like, vanished. <laughs> um... And after I puked, it helped a lot too. Um, yes, I am feeling better now. I am. Um, I slept pretty much the whole day yesterday. Um, yeah, you just have to get your sleep. I was and... going to finish off. Well, not finish because I still have a lot to go. But a lot of packages still to send off the earrings. Okay, yes. She's getting out those earrings, you guys. I saw a couple of people. Yeah, like about two videos of people opening up their Amberlynn earrings. I noticed that she had sent like an autographed card. And I was like, oh, I'm like kind of jealous. Like they got her autograph and everything for only 10 bucks. Like kind of a good deal. It's nice to see Amber. It's nice to see Amber push out her order. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move north of the border up to Canada and get to the real tea. Before we get into this, I just wanted to say I was watching Amberlynn's live stream and she had talked about how people were telling her that Foodie Beauty was doing better than her and she was falling off the map and she was like, I just don't care. We're our own different people. Hate to compare the two, you know, full fat spray. I really can't believe she still has like just regular degular schmegular soda like it's just absolutely so alarming to me like that's like the number one diabetes no-no is that soda right there it's just a cup of sugar a cup of sugar I can't even believe it that's crazy see that's what, like <laughs> it's funny you say that Annie she talks about how when she was over there, Dom was sick and she nursed him back to health. She also tells us about her out of control spending habits, especially when it comes to food. Listen here to what she bought him for dinner. Like mentally, Annie had a really bad, she was feeling it physically. So went over, gave him an edible. They actually help you with the nausea and everything. Made, uh, it wasn't as good as what he would make, but I made him like a chicken and vegetable soup with like, mm -hmm. Thai chilies and ginger and fucking everything. Yeah. Lots of garlic. Brought him some fresh squeezed orange juice. I bought him, brought him some NyQuil. Girl, this man is going to make you broke. Like, she seems to be the one that's providing everything. She pays for the drugs. She brings over, you know, the medicine, the meal, everything. The edible and the NyQuil. And he couldn't sleep. He was like, oh, you know, he couldn't, he didn't feel good. All he's providing for her is a place to stay, a place to escape from Pete's. Think about that for a second. So, by the time I left there, he was well fed, well, he was relaxed and he passed right the fuck out, like passed out, like stone cold. So I, I had to go the munchies. So I ordered, you guys are gonna think I'm fucking crazy. I ordered from this place, a piece of pecan pie for him, a piece of brownie explosion chocolate cake, a fucking, he probably, he thinks I spend way too much money on like food. Girl, you do. I mean, a brownie chocolate explosion, diabetes friendly. Every, everybody I know thinks that and that's, it's true. But anyway. Like, even BB thought that. At least she's willing to admit it. Oh, even BB thought that. Do you guys remember the classic mukbang where she ate that lobster mac and cheese? I'm trying to be a little quiet because BB's barely getting it. It's like five in the morning, five, five, almost six in the morning right now. And I'm just like, I'm eating my cheat day. <laughs> at six o'clock in the morning and BB was getting up and getting ready for work. I mean, those were really the days. That sure was a lot. Can you imagine what was on BB's mind at that time? What does Pete's go through? Because this live stream went on into the wee hours of the night. And we know that Pete's has to wake up for work in the morning. She's not exactly the loudest person uh, when she's just sitting on the couch, right? But the laughing, I wonder if he can hear the laughing. Um, what did the neighbors think? I believe Pete's is doing day shift now, so he has to wake up earlier than he used to. So, a little sugar water. Oh, I ordered fettuccine chicken, fe grill, fettuccine alfredo with grilled chicken and fucking shrimp. Oh my god, it was good. I ordered an Italian quitsin. That stuff, Taste it does sound really good, but super, super fattening. I love a good pasta any kind of pasta the calories are just astronomical did you guys ever go to like cheesecake factory and get one of their pasta dishes they usually range about 2000 calories maybe a little bit less 2000 seriously for the dish one dish quesadilla spicy chicken quesadilla two sprites two bottles of water 
and holy fuck man you wouldn't have to spend so much if you just packed properly <laughs> i know tom so i ate some of it i left like the majority of it i had like a few bites of each thing I left it there so you basically gave him dinner for a week i can't imagine he eats too much if you know what i mean <laughs> to quote chantal <laughs> and I uh, don't out. get me started I think he likes me to sneak out. Because he wants to fall asleep like, like a baby with you by his side. Oh, she's just, uh, she's cozying up. She's being that mother figure for him. Give me a fucking break. Yeah, like, I know you're going to go soon, so just wait till I fall asleep and then I cuddle him. Oh, so it's like he doesn't go to bed alone. So what do you guys think? She's planning a new life with this man. It doesn't seem like she is letting go despite all the red flags, despite him disrespecting her, despite him allowing his friends to throw money at her to show her pancakes, despite the fact that he had meth just sitting, just laying around his apartment. I would be like, what? What do you mean you have meth laying around the apartment? Anyways, later on in the night, she had taken several edibles and she was a little out of control. Someone in the chat suggested that she order some pie and ice cream. And so she decided to get McDonald's. She does eat McDonald's a lot, but I'm going to assume that it probably has to do with the fact that McDonald's is open all night in a lot of places. So it might be the only place that she can order from. Regardless, I mean, she's up at like four o'clock in the morning. Did she get a BTS meal? Oh, fuck, that's spicy. <coughs> I don't think anything McDonald's has is oh, actually fuck. spicy. Not for spice heads. The gamer chair is not bad, Jack. I look extra pretty. Thank she did you. get that plus size uh, gamer chair, gamer girl chair. What if she did gamer girl bath water? <laughs> why doesn't Chantal start a Twitch? You know why she's not going to? Because she's just too lazy to, and she's not going to get that instant gratification. She'll have some people follow her over there, but the numbers aren't going to be anything compared to her YouTube channel, and she's going to have to stick it out and stick with it, and she's not going to do that. But I don't know if she realizes that you can do whatever you want on Twitch. It doesn't have to just be gaming, but I mean, she can do anything she wants here on YouTube as well. But I heard that there are some people that do like hot tub streams. You can just get in a hot tub and splash around for all those desperate gamer boys out there. It's an easy way to get tips. I think that Chantal should try that. I don't think that there are many BBWs over there splashing around in hot tubs. So she might be able to fulfill a niche for that certain type of guy over there. One that's already taken here on YouTube. Yeah, there ain't nothing going on. There ain't nothing going on for the rest of the stream. She she eats some McDonald's and that's about it. All right, that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. What do you think about Amberlynn and her trip to the hospital? It made sense to me. Um, if you're going to have kidney stones, you're going to be in a lot of pain. So to go to the hospital makes a lot of sense. And what do you think about Foodie Beauty, who is back with Dom she nursed him back to health and she's some sort of mothering figure to him now. It kind of made me sick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.